Good morning. So the liftoff event is in full swing. We took a look at that yesterday and looked at the auction map and how that all works. And I made some bids. I'm going to check up on that at some point later. I also made a budget and I'm going to go over that on a different live stream today, today, first time ever. I'm going to make a wombat wallet and invite anyone who is watching or joining in or in the comments to make a wombat wallet with me. Now, once you have your fancy new wallet made, post your wax address in the live stream chat and I'll send you some prizes for your fancy new wallet. But rule, it has to be a new wombat wallet. It can't be a pre-existing one. And yes, I am going to be checking. So let's get started. The first thing to do is to get a wombat wallet. So I have gone to getwombat.io. And to be specific here for anyone who is new or not new, um, I'm going to get a wombat wallet for my for the wax blockchain, because that's what my prizes are. They're wax based NFTs. Finishing the sentence. So um, it looks like there are some options here. I can use Google Play, I can use the App Store, or I can use a Google Chrome plugin. Now, I don't want to do this on my phone because live streaming on the phone sucks and I can't share the screen and blah -de blah blah blah. So I'm going to do the Google, Google Chrome plugin. So I'm going to click on that button and it says here, to add an extension, Wombat, gaming wallet for Ethereum and EOS. Now, before I do that, I'm double checking this link up here, chrome.google.com slash web store. Okay, this looks legitimate because sometimes, sometimes even things from reasonable sources are, you know, anyway, just always double check. So I'm gonna add that extension and extension guard has blocked Wombat wallet from installing, why? because it can read and change data on websites, display notifications, and modify data you copy and paste. I understand those risks. Let's go. Okay, so now it is doing the thing. Okay, here we are. So if you followed along this far, um, let's sign up. There's a button for it. So I'm gonna boot that. I confirm that I have read the terms and conditions and the privacy policy. I haven't, but I assume that it's A-OK. -okay. I would like to receive marketing communications. Do I? I kind of do. I don't know about that. Let's try it, because I can always opt out later. So I'm going to sign in with my Google, because Google. Um, oh, is it going to make me enter my password? My password's really long. Okay, so the window that you can't see, a pop-up window popped up and it's asking me to sign in with my Gmail address. So I'm doing that and it does want my password. So give me a second here, cause you bet I don't have that memorized. Uh, where to go? Do, 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 do in the book of awesome stuff. It should be right here. Why yeah, wasn't it? There it is, okay. Let's see. Now, this isn't showing on the live stream, so I can show my own password, which is good because I'm going to need to see it. It's complicated. So the hard part was not mouthing all of that out loud because I'm sure somebody's watching who can read lips. And normally I say the whole thing out loud while I'm typing. So, hmm. You don't get my password today. Nice try. Okay. Select a passphrase to protect your account on this device. Okay, so I got to get my book out again because I'm going to have to write this shiz down. So, um, with passwords, um, ooh, okay. Here we go. Ghetto Crypto, you signed up for a Wombat wallet a few days ago. Okay, I'll totally accept that as long as it actually was a few days ago and I will be checking. Um, Wasa Nasum, I can I sign in using Anchor to play on the server, or it has to be a G Cloud wallet. Um, if you're playing in the Uplift, you can sign in using your Anchor wallet. Um, the reason that 
I'm doing it this way. And you can import different a different wax wallet to your Wombat wallet. Um, I'm creating a new one because I need one anyway. So, yeah. Um, so a passphrase. Let's see here. This is going to be from a Wombat. I'll leave myself some space to write down what my wax address will be once I figure that out. Now I need a phrase. Um, That should be good. Now, can I type that without screwing it up? Here's the thing. Is it going to show it though? Oh, good. Okay. Try that again. Oh. I'm gonna be so good at typing random shit when this is over. So good. Okay, now, set up your blockchain account. You can do this later. No, I don't want to do it later. We're doing it now. Oh, wow, there's a lot to choose from. Okay, EOS, Telos, Ethereum, Wax is the one I want, but I'm curious now. Polygon, BNB, Avalanche, Phantom Opera, Kuboy. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm going to go for Wax. And I'm going to create a new account because I need one. You need to pick a WAX account name. It will be your unique ID on the WAX blockchain. Now, things to keep in mind about this, um, it needs to be exactly 12 characters. And is awesome. <gasps> it might work. Okay, and store an encrypted backup. Okay, Googly Drive, yeah, let's go. E and then a window popped up and I have to choose my account here. Um, and give it permission to do the things. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Should take a few seconds. Okay, so now I'm gonna sit here and wait for my fancy new account. Yes, maybe. All right, so while I'm hanging out, um, why am I creating a Wombat account? There are reasons. Wax Cloud Wallet recently started charging five bucks to create an account, or not five bucks, five wax, which is great unless you're like a total noob to blockchain and you don't have any crypto, how the hell are you supposed to get that five wax? Yeah, you can ask me and yes, I'm really nice. However, I have limited funds. And after like the first thousand people mob me, I'm not going to have a lot of wax left. So um, I wanted to check out the Wombat and also because Wombat's cool. Um, I've been hanging out playing Wombat Dungeon and Wombat Dungeon is the awesomeness. I got paid to, I earned to play, I guess, paid to play. It was really fun. I got to stake some NFTs and the, the art is cute. The wombat is cute. It's fun. It's quick and easy. Um, why else would I choose wombat? They seem to be a good crew of people. I don't know them personally, but Corey's been hanging out with them and he likes them. And so it's, you know, one of those whole friends with benefits sort of scenarios. I think there's going to be some of that friends with benefits business going on. Um, and I can stake my own freaking art NFT on, on the, the Dungeon Master. That's important to mention. Um, art Vending Machine Series 3 packs dropped recently, and my art is in there. You can pick them up on Nefty Box, and you can stake it in the Wombat Dungeon. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm starting to think that this whole should only take a few seconds thing is maybe taking too long. So I'm going to look something up here. Um, five, boop. Yes, it's showing all the tabs. So, um, I'm going to jump over here and look and see if my account actually did get created. 
Oh, it did. Yes. Okay, so I will be freaking patient because it's doing its thing. It is working. It was created. Now I am patient. So here we go. Back to here. Chilling. So I wonder at what point I refresh. I don't know. See, there's a lot I don't know. Um, now, if I go to over to my extensions, Wombat. Okay, why isn't Wombat showing up up there? Do I have to move things? Um, hmm. Extensions. Wombat. I'm going to pin it. There we go. That's how I make a Wombat show up. Okay, cool. Go back here. Uh, I think I'm going to have to refresh at some point because it is creating and it said it could only take a few seconds and I can see that I have an account here. So I wonder if I click on the Wombat extension, then what happens? It's blank. <laughs> okay, so pretty sure I got to refresh or reopen my window or something. I'm going to refresh. Boop, boop. Something went wrong. Yeah. I don't know that it really did. Okay, I'm going to sign in. There we go. With the googly Google. And it's making me choose my account. And it wants my passphrase. Okay, so. to restore my account, so it didn't actually ever import my account. I wonder what the dealio is here. Okay. Well, now it says it's it's good. Anyway, so it uh, that was weird, but it worked. So if you get the similar deal, um, you can go to eosauthority.com, select the Wax blockchain, look up your own account in the lookup thing. You don't have to sign in. If you're signing in, you don't have to. So, hmm. Interesting. Bye-bye. Um, yeah, so I can look myself up and it's easy peasy, um, which I did. So that's that's how, like once, once it shows up here on the chain, then you know it's been created and it's just a matter of getting the software to work with you. It said it re-imported from my saved backup, yay. I can use Wombat in the extension menu. I can close this tab so I can look in here and I've got an extension menu and it's got all of my accounts. So what account does it have? Should only have the one. Okay. It says I have no wax and it gives me some options for buying and selling the crypto and it's got some history. Show all transactions. Oh, and it's going to open up. Oh, it opened it up in blocks. Okay. So wax.blocks.io is another block explorer. Um, anyhow, Okay, so we've gotten this far. If you're still hanging out, you should have a fancy schmancy new Wombat wallet and post that wallet address in the comments here. So I'll give you the example. There you go. So that's what it looks like. Post it in the comments here and I will send you a fancy schmancy NFT that I happen to have. Now, I also need to um, get some wax into here, I think, because at some point, yeah, it, like my resources are toast. I need resources. So um, I'm going to deal with that. Um, and, and that's very true, right? I mean, it's showing my CPU is maxed, my net is maxed, my RAM is almost maxed. Now, it doesn't take a lot to handle that. And I don't think you need, I'm going to find out, I don't think you need to deal with this before I send you things. So I'm going to find out by sending things. I'm going to go to 
nifty box because I love them. And I'm already signed in, so I'm going to go to my NFTs. And I'm going to send all of them because I want to use my fancy new Wombat wallet as the account that holds things that I give away to people. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of Upliftium minor packs to give away. And you should definitely be hanging out with me to have this accomplished. And we're going to find out if I can send things if, you, if the receiving account doesn't have free resources. So selecting all of them because I can, because who wants to do a transaction a billion times? Not me. All right, so there we go. Got them all selected. Now I have bulk actions over here. I can transfer them. And I'm going to double check. It's got them all. Yay. Two. Jen is awesome. Yay. And boom. It's going to approve that transaction for me. And then yay. Oh, it gave me a yay. And I, it has a, a status thing right here. So I can boot that. And it's actually going to show me the transaction on the blockchain, which is awesome. And it gives a list of all the asset IDs that were transferred. So now I can go over to um, my Wombat wallet. <clears throat> and, oh, it has buttons on the bottom here. So I can look at NFT. What does it do for this? Oh, it wants my, no, I made a mask. Go away. I'm not using you. It wants my passphrase again. I think I might have to make something easier. Uh, it's trying to get me to import and all that BS again. I don't really want to do that. Let's hear. It says NFT gallery. I'm already signed in, y'all. I feel like maybe I should just look at NFT. So back to NFT blocks. I'm going to sign out of this one and connect my... Okay, now Wombat said it could pop up if I used an anchor sign-in. I read that somewhere earlier. So, and Ghetto Crypto, you said yours is messing up? Yeah, it's kind of a bit like that. Um, I'm going to launch anchor and maybe it'll Wombat me? Yeah, it's Wombatting me. Okay, so this is going to be where it's real interesting. If I need to use Anchor, how do I push it to Anchor instead of Wombat? So anyway, um, that's going to get interesting. So I'm going to sign up with the Wombat. It logged me in here. Um, I'm going to go to my NFTs. And they're there. Yay. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to grab the... Got a few people here in the comments. I have... ZRHQU.lab. Yeah, well, it says I need to choose one, but it didn't offer me the choice. So maybe, you know, I'm curious now. So if I have my Wombat, let's say I, how do I close it? I don't. Oh, there's a lock there. Okay, so I lock it. Now I'm going to sign out. And when I sign back in, it should, if I go to the anchor, I'm going to launch anchor. It gives me the wombat thinger again. So if I, hmm, they will not work together. Yeah, see, that's that's going to be a sticky point with me because I have a bunch of stuff in my Anchor wallet. Now, so, hmm, yeah, I'm curious now. Oh, it's working now. Okay, so Ghetto Crypto, I would like your fancy new Wombat address, please. Um, 
<clears throat> and I'm going to figure out how to make the anchor and the wombat happy together. And if they're not happy together, I'm just going to put everything in the wombat and have two addresses there or whatever. I don't know that I care that much. Um, that's, that's a level of technical complexity higher than what we're doing here. So I'm going to... Um, I wanted to go over here to blocks because I have my anchor wallet already here. So now I'm active. I'm going to view my account. Let's say that I want to go to my wallet and where did the wax come from? Is it counting all of my must be because it says I have a total balance of 105 and I definitely don't have that much available. Anyway, I'm going to go to my wallet here. And I'm going to send myself some money. So I'm going to send myself one wax because no, I'm going to send myself five wax. Okay. Now it is trying to launch my anchor. Now what's happening this time? Is it going to? No. So what if I use the passphrase that I would normally use for my anchor wallet? Is that going to confuse things? Eh, no. Okay, so everybody's right. Now, maybe if I open the anchor first, it'll work. Because, like, th these are... Um, Ah, yes, and the total includes staked resources. Yes, okay, so that makes more sense. Aha, okay, so I'm going to unlock and... Uh, hmm. I had an authorize and sign transaction button there, so did it do the thing? I have no idea. No, okay, so let's try it, though because something worked. Yeah, that worked. Okay, so I figured it out. Yes, airdrop investigator, you're quite right. Launch the anchor wallet manually before you do the thing, and then it works. Yay. And then I can boop over here to look at my wombat wallet, and it should say, I have the money. I'm rich. So then I can put some to resources. Okay, so this is awesome. I figured out the one thing that was going to be a thorn in my side and bug the heck out of me. And Ghetto Crypto, thank you. And I've got a real rumble in there, so I'm going to take a look here. Oh, and Ghetto Crypto, you're wondering WAX or EOS. Um, I have WAX NFTs. I had an EOS account like years ago, but that was when I was so new that I didn't know you had to actually keep that passphrase and use it for things. I can't access my account anymore, and it sucks. Um, cause I had a shillion shipple in there. I had 13 shillion shipple. Anyway. Um, yes. If I can have your wax address, please, that would be awesome. And I've got a real rumble in there. So I'll write that down. Um, and see here. Okay, just going to make sure I didn't miss anything here in terms of writing down addresses, because I don't want to miss anybody. This is way too much fun. And okay, so I guess the last bit here is, yay, I have some wax. Now I need some resources. So I'm going to add an account. Hmm. It's not any of those. It's not gonna connect to it. Okay, so I'm gonna try <clears throat> going to the other do the other thing here. Um, maybe this one pops up along that because I if I have my anchor open, I don't want to really mess around with it. I don't know. Let's find out. Um, there should be a button here somewhere for signing in, making account, signing into my account, wallet. I want to, oh, well, it's already there. Um, hmm. 
This is where you learn how easy this stuff is because I can figure it out. Wombat uses the same as scatter. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That sounds familiar because I did look at that and it said you could use um, scatter or, I am drawing a blank here, um, anchor. And there was one other that, list, that it was listing as being a thing. So let's try uh, scatter. Okay. Oh, it picked it up immediately. Freaking cool. Okay, so that totally worked. Mr. Hobson, thank you for joining in. Your comments are most appreciated. Okay, so I was going to take a look at resources here. So I need some CPU and some net. I have five wax to go around and I'm gonna need some RAM. So amount of net, I will do one. Amount of CPU, I shall do I don't know how much CPU is going to be. I'm going to do a separate. No, it would be better to do it if it was one transaction. Um, hmm. Maybe I should do the RAM first because I don't know how much that costs. How much RAM do I want in bytes? I currently have three. I would like to have six. So I'm going to buy. How much is three bytes? Three wax. Oh! It's one wax per byte. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna do that. And, oh, it wants my passphrase. Is it gonna ask me for my passphrase every single time? Because if it is, I'm definitely changing it to something easier. Um, actually, maybe not, that wasn't that bad. Okay. Air, receiver, quantity, yeah, let's go. Woo -woo. Okay, now I can go back to my CPU and my net. I'm going to do one for net and two for CPU, and then I'm going to be broke. But that's okay, because I have resources now. And all I'm doing is transferring NFTs. I'm not actually spending money. One wallet to rule them all. Yeah, that's that's a thing. Ooh, your check is in the mail. Well, maybe. I don't know. I'm spending all my wax on resources, so I'm not sure. Oh, it says I overdrew my balance. Okay, so something something was goofy. I have two wax. Oh, because I spent three, so that means I only have one and one. Okay, try that again. Do the math. Okay, one wax and one net. Or, yeah, okay. So now it says I have some RAM, and you can tell by the gas gauge here that I have some RAM and I have used zero CPU and zero net. Whoop. And I'm pretty sure that's gonna be enough to handle all of my transaction -y business. So that part's awesome. Another benefactor can also stake RAM and CPU against your account. <laughs> yes, so um, to do that, if I went to, let's say this account, cause it has the wax and receiver of stake, I can go, is awesome and I want to send myself not very much because I'm cheap and I know that my one by my one wax of net will last me like freaking forever because that's what I had on one of my other accounts for forever so I'm gonna send oh, let's be less cheap five five wax for the CPU and it's going to Jen is awesome and it's coming from my very first ever wax address and I'm gonna stake that. Error, asset must begin with a number. What asset? It's giving me an error, that's not gonna work, we'll see. Um, asset. I don't know. Doesn't that just work? Doesn't look like it just works. I'm uncertain. All right, it's logging me in again here. Maybe. It's taking its sweet time. All right, what did I do? I broke it. Anyway, while it's taking its sweet time, because maybe I broke it, um, 
what I was doing right there is how you send resources to another person. So normally it just works. Right now it's having trouble logging into my cloud wallet. So meh. the error, um, it said that the asset must begin with a number. So I, I, it gave me that twice. So, so I refreshed and I'm trying to log in again and it is now hanging on the login window for the cloud wallet. So whatever, I'm not super concerned. Um, oh yes, not cheap, just conservative very conservative because there's a land auction on at the uplift and I want all the land. I'm going to be a mini whale. Yeah, it's still hanging. So, um, too long to explain live. Yeah. I kind of wondered about that. Okay. I'm gonna try again. Refresh. Log me in. Yes. Okay. So receiver of stake. I'm going to stake myself some CPU and go. And it's probably just magically going to work this time. Yeah, it's magically going to work. So there we go. Now I have some. And if I search my own account here, it shows that I have some resources. Yay. Um, and I have two X because it's what's staked to the CPU in the net. So RAM, you buy CPU and net or stake. You can get it back if you want to. Um, probably the most important thing I can think of with dealing with a block explorer is that if you're going over here and switching between your accounts, it's going to end up being confusing. Just, just know if you're only looking to see if what, you know, is showing in your account, just use the search feature over here and type in your your thinger um your address so i want to look at uh i don't know what's a wax wallet i know Ooh, i've graduated to novice wallet user I'm not a noob anymore that's pretty awesome okay uh let's see i want to look at um something that's not mine well i don't know okay let's look up one of the wallets that was in the in the comments here is not a wax wallet. Mm. Oh, hey, we save uplift. That's a good one. Okay, we save uplift has a bundle of wax. Cool. And I didn't need to log in to look it up either. So we save uplift is the wallet that was started for um, fundraising for setting up the uplift DAO. And as you'll see, there have been people buying the NFTs uh, with them listed there and people transferring things. And it's been awesome. Um, you can also transfer to We Save Uplift your um, Upliftium NFTs, and then they can get burned and count for a percentage of DAO tokens once the drop happens. So that's a lot of stuff. There we go. All right, so now that that's all set up, done, explained, if you have any questions or if anything in all of this process either didn't work, wasn't intuitive, or you tried a couple things and it just really screwed it up for you, I highly, highly advise finding um, some tech support directly from Wombat. If you go to getwombat.io, at the very bottom, they have links for their socials, including I don't even know what that is. That looks like a, oh, that's the Google store, Apple store, Chrome store. Then they have a Telegram and a Twitter. So I would find their Telegram or their Twitter and find their support people and just ask. They have a help center link up here. Um, because what I have learned with blockchain is that sometimes you try to do something that worked yesterday and maybe it doesn't work today for who knows what reason it will just magically work some other time or sometimes they might actually need to help you because it's something that is orders of magnitude more technical than what you might know about. So never be afraid to reach out for help. Most of the time, any of the crypto projects I've ever had to talk to are super helpful, kind, wonderful, etc. So 
on that joyful note, I have wallet addresses here. So who do I have? I have, uh, do, do, do. okay. Um, so Rural Rumble, you can definitely get a giveaway, but I need your um, wax wallet. And I, yeah, I know I can look it up, but I don't want to. Um, just because I have those privileges doesn't mean I should use them. Um, Ghetto Crypto also need a new Wombat wallet here. So anybody else who has been hanging out in the comments and wants to put in their new Wombat wallet address, go for it. I'm going to grab something here to play as we are wandering out as everybody's heading out here. So just give me one moment. I'll set that up and that'll give you a few seconds here to get that wax wallet in the live stream comments. Um, this here. Okay, so hang on. Back that up. Go back. Okay, so I need to... Share it. Hopefully you get sound with this as well. This is a video that I put together for the fun time auction. It'll give you a little bit of information and give you all also a chance to get those Wax wallets in. Thank you, Ghetto Crypto. I need a rural rumble, and I can see there's a Mark Gonzalez here. If you would like to drop your fancy new Wombat wallet address and airdrop investigator as well, same goes for you. If you have a new wallet wallet address, uh, Wombat wallet. I'm having trouble saying that. Anyway, got a couple more seconds here. Here's a video, and then I'll say see you later. All right, so that was fun. Now, let's see. Oh, and Mark Gonzalez just joined looking to make a new wallet. Well, um, I have to sign off here because I have other things I have to get doing as well, but this video will stay on the, um, on the Uplifters YouTube channel and it'll, I think it takes a couple minutes to go from live stream to viewable video, but everything that we just did is in there. It's it's relatively straightforward-ish. Um, I wouldn't say that it's straightforward enough that my mom would have an easy time doing it, but most other people with any base computer knowledge and social media savvy should be totally fine with it. And Ghetto Crypto, love that hotel and gallery, right? Yes, there's some beautiful, beautiful things in the uplift. If you haven't been in, there are like if you don't own land, there's actually passports up. So I'm um, actually, I'm not quite done yet. I'm going to show the passports. Um, I don't remember which collection they were in. Probably this one. I'm going to look it up first and then I'll show it second because I don't need to show enough things to be completely confusing. It's not this one. Okay. Um, hmm. Having a blank here. I'm going to have to look it up because that's something that I should know. And it should be in the announcements here somewhere, I think. I think, I think. Um, do, 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 do. any 
anybody happens to know the answer. Oh, good. I've got a couple extra wax wallets in there. That's awesome. I will make sure to get those. Um, passports, passports. That happened on, I feel like it was April the 2nd. There we go. Okay, so I'll just dupe this open here. Okay, I'm going to put this link in the comments for everybody to see and share that far and wide here. So this is what it looks like. Um, it is a DAO Liftoff Metaverse Pass. So you can go to neftyblocks.com slash C slash Uplift World and it's under drops and they are free. So log in with your fancy new Wombat wallet, claim one and then and um, it's valid between April 1st and 14th. So you can get into the Uplift. You have to have a Minecraft Java account, and um, there's a getting started guide on the uplift.world website. So go look through that because it explains how to link your Passport Wax account with your Minecraft account so that you can get into the uplift. And then you can look around while the land auction is going on so that you know which land you want to buy because you belong in the metaverse. I'll let that sink in. You have a crypto wallet, you know how to use it, you belong in the metaverse. On that note, have a happy, happy Tuesday. If anybody has any questions, you're always welcome to grab me on the DM. Um, I am I do check them once in a while. <laughs> and I'm going to go through and get all of these wax wallets written down, send out some fun time prizes, and shout out to our friends at Wombat. Thanks for making it relatively easy. Um, there's, there's a little bit of overlap there that's not quite super new person, but it's friendly enough that let's do it. Everybody needs a wombat wallet. Bye-bye.